Um, this uh, this uh, I'm reading by um, some some small popular demand. So it's called "A Flaming Asteroid Hits My Ex Boss in the Nuts," a play in three acts. It is based on a true story. Act one, a man and a woman are in an office. Man, you've been kind of bitchy around the office lately. And by lately, I mean always since I met you. Do you need to get laid? Woman, why don't you go back into your office and jerk off to bondage porn while totally mismanaging millions of dollars as usual? Man, you are so fucking fired. Woman, and I will be suing your balding, low sperm count having bondage jerking ass right about looks at watch now. Act two, woman stands alone on a stage. Woman, this is a story about forgiveness. This is a story about cruelty. This is a story about stories that start. This is a story. This is one of those stories. This story will not have so much of a moral as it will leave you with an ineffable sense of futility, which is what you really want from a story. Futility, accept it, accept it, accept it. Nope, still nothing. See, futile. This is a story about rage and humiliation and the humiliation of being in a rage. This is the love-hate story of rubber and glue because when you hate, then a thousand hatey hates are hated back at you or something. And it's still futile because there's no winning except giving up. And that's not winning, that's giving up. Act three. Man sits in front of a computer in his boxer shorts. Man, ah, uh, ooh. You know, I wish I had acted differently so many times in my life, but since I can't go back and change my past actions, maybe I can make some kind of karmic amends. Maybe I can change my life for the better and be a better human being. And I could start by acknowledging some of the things I said and did in my past, things I said and did out of fear and spite and hatred of women. Maybe I could, flaming asteroid bursts through wall, hits man in testicles, man. Ah, too late. So um, <clears throat> thank you so much for humoring me through that. Um, it, it got brought up in a class the other day and I was like, I, I, I would like to go back and reread that and I would like to reread it to you. So thank you so much for letting me do that. <clears throat>